If you died today, where would your soul spend eternity? If you died right now, would you have eternal life? Would you have forgiveness of sins? Would you have fellowship with God? My friend, that's the only way is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There's no salvation in any other but Jesus Christ. But you must be born again. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. A lot of people don't understand what it means to be born again. It means to believe that Jesus died for your sins and rose again the third day. And if you've trusted and believed on that finished gospel of Jesus Christ, then you would be born again. That's the only way, my friend, Jesus Christ. When he says he's the way, he really meant it. When Jesus says he's the truth, he's the only way to make sense out of the truth of eternal life, to make sense out of any truth in this world. And Jesus Christ says he's the life. He came to give you life and that you might have it more abundantly. But the only way to get the abundant life is when you humble yourself and put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. Have you did that? A lot of people know about God. A lot of people know about Jesus. But a whole lot of people have not put their faith and their trust in the finished cross work of Jesus. They might have heard about Jesus. They might have watched the movie about Jesus. They might have heard a story about Jesus. But a lot of people have not put their faith and their trust in the finished cross work of Jesus Christ, which means they're not saved. See, people don't like when you tell them they're not saved. I don't know who's saved. I don't know who's not saved. But God knows, and you know. Have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Have you believed that Jesus died for your sins and rose again the third day? I'm not talking about knowing about some generic Jesus out there. A lot of people got a generic Jesus. They got a Jesus of their own mind. They make up a Jesus. And then they say, yeah, me and Jesus are cool. Jesus is my homeboy. Jesus is not your homeboy. Jesus is the righteous, holy God who died because he's holy. He's the only one qualified because he's holy. And when he rose again the third day, he was the only one holy allowed into the third heaven to sit at the right hand of God the Father. Jesus Christ is the only one qualified to go to heaven. The rest of us deserve to go to hell. But you know what Jesus did when he died on the cross? He made a way for you and for me to be forgiven of our sins. He made a way for you and for me to be reconciled to God. And it's only through Jesus, not a church. It's only through Jesus, not a pastor or a priest. It's only through Jesus, not Mother Mary. Jesus died for you and he rose again the third day. If you believe that, if you believe on that for the salvation of your soul, you'll be saved. Will you trust in Jesus Christ today? Will you believe on him? That's why the Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. He just didn't love the world. He so loved the world that he sent Jesus Christ to die for your sins. You know how much love you'd have to have to send somebody to die for unworthy sinners, specks of dust who hate you? There's a whole lot of people in this world that hate God, but yet Jesus still died for them. A whole lot of people hate Jesus. They use his name as a curse word. They use God's name as a curse word. And they show blasphemy in their speech. And yet, Jesus Christ still died for your sins. Jesus Christ paid the price that you and I could not pay. He suffered the wrath of God for you and for me so that you and I would not have to die in our sins. Would you trust in him? Would you believe on him? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. See the way? A lot of people think their way is right. And there's only one way according to the word of God. It's only through Jesus Christ one can gain eternal life, forgiveness of sins, and reconciliation to God. Believe, trust, put your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 11, 25, Jesus says, I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
The Lord Jesus Christ says salvation only comes through him. John 5, 24, Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. You want to pass from death unto life? The only way is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. He died not because you're a good person. He died not because you're righteous. He died not because you're basically a moral person. He died because none of us are holy. None of us are moral. None of us are righteous. That's why we need Jesus Christ. That's why he died for our sins and rose again the third day to justify us from our sins. The only way a lost man can be justified is through the finished cross work of Jesus Christ. It's not by your goodnesses. It's not by going to church. It's not by prayer. It's not by owning a Bible and keeping it on your coffee table. Jesus Christ died because you and I are sinners. Jesus Christ rose again because he's God and the only righteous God who can make a sacrifice that would be acceptable to God. None of our sacrifices are acceptable. None of our goodnesses are acceptable. The only acceptable thing is when we put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ. That's the only way. It's a free gift that God gives. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. None of yourselves. None of yourselves. It's a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. I can't boast about how good I am. You can't boast about how good you are. If any of us are saved, it's due to the finished cross work of Jesus Christ. If any of us can stand before God being made righteous, it's because Jesus made us righteous. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.21, For he, that's God, hath made him, Jesus Christ, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. The only way a lost man can be brought to God, the only way a lost man could be made righteous, the only way a lost man could be redeemed from their sins would be believing and trusting that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, in whom you also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. Did you hear what the Bible said? The Bible says you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. The moment you believe and trust that Christ died for your sins and rose again the third day. Will you trust that? Will you believe that? It's a free gift. God is a God of grace. God is a God of mercy. God is a God of love. But if you reject God's love, which is Jesus Christ, by the way, that you've just rejected eternal life. You've just rejected anything good that God has to offer you when you reject Jesus Christ. Don't reject your only hope to salvation. Don't reject your only hope for eternal life. The Lord Jesus Christ, who was without sin, he did no sin, he knew no sin, and in him is no sin. Your only hope is somebody that's sinless. Your only hope is somebody that's God manifest in the flesh. Would you trust in Jesus Christ before it's too late? Time is moving. The clock is ticking. Every minute is a minute closer to death. Every day is a day closer to your death and my death. Every second is a second closer to death. You or I have no promise of tomorrow. You or I don't have any promise of another minute. You or I don't have a promise of another second in this life. If you and I die without the salvation of Jesus Christ, that he died for your sins, rose again the third day. I'm not asking if you went to church. I'm not asking if you're going to church. I'm not asking if you pray every night. I'm asking, have you put a one-time act of faith? Put your faith and trust in Jesus dying for your sins and rising again the third day. Have you put your faith and your trust for the salvation of your soul in that gospel truth? A lot of religions out there, but it doesn't mean there isn't one right way. And Jesus says he's the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. There's one right way. Relative truth is a lie. Your truth and my truth, we may have different truths. That's a lie. 
well, my truth may be different from yours. His truth may be different from his. No, truth is absolute. And Jesus Christ is the one that holds absolute truth together. And he says that if you want eternal life, if you want forgiveness of sins, it'll only come through Jesus Christ. He paid the price for your sins and for my sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved.